I want you to respond to what FBI agent uh, Garrick Munoz testified about that Taquan Brown said that he witnessed and give you an opportunity to respond to that. He said that you picked her up at Myrtle Beach and brought her back down to McClellanville. My reaction to it was like, you know, it's not true. I didn't pick her up. I never saw her besides seeing her on TV and the internet through a computer screen. So when he, when they read it out, it was like, it was unbelievable. It did not happen. Did you kidnap Brittany Drexel? No, I did not. Have you ever met Brittany Drexel? No, I haven't. Have you ever been to the Blue Water Hotel where she was last seen? No, sir. Never been to the Blue Water Hotel. Do you know that when this took place, I was 16 years old? Yes. That I did not have a driver's license, obtain a driver's license at that time? So you're saying you didn't have a license, so you couldn't have picked her up on Myrtle Beach and taken her to McClellanville? Correct. Were you in Myrtle Beach on the night of April 25th, 2009? No, sir. How, how do you know? How can you remember? Because my cousin had like a get together in Edisto Island, like at a block party, and that's where we all were. The informant told authorities that he saw you having sex with Brittany. Authorities reported that he also said they ended up tricking her out with some of their friends, offering her to them and getting a human trafficking situation. Have you ever been involved in offering girls up for prostitution? No, sir. Reports have alleged that your father was with you at the time that this supposedly happened. Is that true? No, sir. I was in school when it took place on the days that he's claiming that it happened. If I'm sitting in my classroom getting my education, how could I know anything or see anything. Have you ever heard of bodies being disposed of in the gator pits? No, sir. Police say that Brittany's cell phone pinged last near McClellanville. Uh, where do you live? In McClellanville. Uh -huh. Did you ever have possession of Brittany's cell phone? No, sir. Has it ever been in your car? No, sir. Your attorney uh, Mark Pepper is here. The federal government believes that Brittany Drexel's cell phone was located in McClellanville at one point in time. Right. And the only point that matters to us is that Deshaun Taylor did not have that cell phone at any time. I think after seven years of just not having any answers, uh, the only uh, certainty that the federal government has is that a cell phone registered to Brittany Drexel last pinged in the McClellanville area. Now, why it involves Deshaun is because Deshaun was one of eight individuals that this jailhouse rat decided to specifically name in this made up concocted story. Because a guy who's eight months into his 25 year sentence, all of a sudden said, actually, I, I got something to say. Now, they didn't go validate any of this information. They didn't even go ask Deshaun if any of it was true. What they did was have him arrested on a charge that he's already pled guilty to and sentenced to and served his time and then brought him in, never mentioned the word McDonald's and only mentioned the word Drexel and asked a lot of the same questions that, that you've been asking here today.